All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are back in Arventville. I went ahead and got here, came in off camera. Um, I ran past some uh, of the paintings on the way and just decided to farm them up a little bit and did end up getting another shard from them. So my welcome company is now grade three and rank four. Um, figured that was worth taking a little bit of time. Have Probably could have done some more, but... Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Oh my god. Good work. Have you learned anything? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Oh, okay. So these are not completed yet. Gotcha. I haven't seen you in a while. I've been worried. So, what'll it be? <laughs> That's all I had to say about that, though. Okay, so... Ooh, I can beef this up. Oh, it disappeared. Okay. Um. Okay, so I've already got that as welcome company. There it is. Okay, so I can't beef that up because I don't have any walnut. Uh, let's rank up the silver knight a little bit. Do you now? Make some curry sauce. It's a lot of stuff that you need for curry sauce. Great. Pork curry, obviously. I'll go with this. Great. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, you need five regular potions to make one high potion. No, thank you. Turn my Uthbert sword into a harp. A. I'll go with this. Flame whip. Research has advanced during the ten years you slept. How so? By using alchemy to add new matter to the shards, we can change their properties. They evolve. For example, an offensive shard's range may widen or reach targets further away. Ah, so they'll become easier to use. To put it more simply, yes. But I should make special mention of enchantment shards. They require a large number of materials to transmute. But they function similarly to skill shards. In other words, they work even when you don't have them equipped. That is quite an advancement. Sounds good to me. Oh. Totally just did that by accident. Okay, so I have consumed that. Let's get my... Actually, no, I probably shouldn't just be eating these just to eat them. Like, I'll wait until I need him for heals. Oh, 
probably show the silver bromide to Dom. Right. I found the materials you need. Then let's make some photographs. Oh, yes, let's. Definitely. Relax. You look too serious. It's not easy to That looks too serious. Now. Well, do your best and hold still. Don't move a muscle until I tell you. <gasps> and you can breathe now. <sighs> All finished. You can move around if you want. Whew. Here you are. One photograph. Keep it as a memento. It looks exactly like me. How strange. Now I have identification. Sure. I don't know what she needs, but I don't have it. Miriam, you're back. Yeah, we just talked. What are you looking to buy? Is this right? Many thanks. Is this right? Many thanks. Is this right? Then we have a deal. So can I sell the coin? What are you looking to sell? So I found the 8 bit coin, or the, I think it was the 8 bit coin. I don't see it in my inventory, though. What are you looking to sell? Huh. Thank you. All right, back up. We're going to talk to Farmer Bob over here. I finished the harvest. So now I have rice. Plant some taters. Can you plant that? Sure. Potatoes. Alright, so next plan is to go back into the sewers. We'll see what's down there. I don't even necessarily remember for sure that they were sewers, but it was underground at least. Let's keep going right. Okay, what I need is to remember to buy poison antidote. See what else we got down here. Yeah. 
Ow. Alright, so this is where we tried last time. I think I opened this. Alright. And this room is just a save spot. I'll take it. Never gonna turn down a save spot, but... Well, wonder what was over here. I mean, I could drop back down and see if there's something over this way. I, I gotta admit, I'm kind of flummoxed right now on where I'm supposed to be going because I feel like when I got the double jump I went back and checked out all these places that I still haven't been to although I've got ID now so maybe I can go here is that what I needed ID to ride the train why not let's try it it's as good as an idea as any I suppose right more levels of release toad guys I don't see how I could be any more excited I wish those were called Buellers and not Viewers. I would summon Buehler all the time. get the train to take me somewhere. Sets of lily ears. Ow. Oh. 
So it's not equipment. I mean, it's in my inventory, but... It doesn't appear to mean I can do anything with it. There's the 8-bit coin. Such a weird message. Is something required? Well, yeah, something probably is. But if it's the identification, I don't know how to do anything with it, so... Oh, Silver Knight just talked for the first time. Hail. Prying all kinds of body parts off the lilies. So this time, still heading down, still avoiding the frogs. Ooh, Coco. Save just in case. Okay, so...
The big question was, is down a bad idea? I went over here. Let's just check this out again, just for... Yeah. Alright, down we go. Why is this shit? Oh, God! What? Ah! Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Critical ring. Take that. So since I didn't land there again, I don't have a way to go back up. God. Stupid frogs. Still can't swim. make that jump and I don't think it matters anyway because that doesn't really look like it goes anywhere. Is there anything new? There's this door, which if I could have gotten through that, I would have. Tempted to just not force you to watch this, but I guess you could turn off the recording if you wanted to. So the plan is, I'm going to check that doorway um, and just see if maybe there's something over there that I haven't seen. Oh my god. Stupid frogs.
look like it might have been something there for a second. Alright, what stop? Oh, okay. Yeah. Figured there was something. How do I get that? Go. Okay, so unless I get some kind of wall jump, I don't see a way to get to that treasure up there. One gold I got for that guy. Alright guys, um, I am thinking about going ahead and consulting a walkthrough of some sort before I spend another episode on this because, I mean, I've missed one square here and a couple here. But for the most part, like, I feel like the map is pretty well explored, at least for what I know how to do. So I'm definitely missing something. Um, and I gotta figure out what. So I might run around a little bit off camera or maybe consult a walkthrough somewhere. This game's a couple years old. I'm sure there's tons of resources online. Uh, but one way or another, we'll figure it out before next episode. Uh, we will be back, obviously, pretty soon. If you're having fun, leave a like, leave a subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon.